Okay, um, so we went over this kind of general idea of, of how we might approximate area under a graph using rectangles, right? Using, so we, we take the interval we started with, we divide it up into some number of, of ideally equally spaced intervals. On each of those intervals, we choose a point, we use that point to get the height of our rectangle by plugging it into the function, right? And then we do a simple height times width calculation to get the area of our rectangle, right? And we do that once for each rectangle, we add them all up, and we get our result, right? Now, um, we're going to sometimes use summation notation because it gets pretty tiresome to have to write sums out like this every time. Um, if you're not comfortable with summation notation, that's something that you can sit down and review. We'll talk a little bit more about it. Um, but it's also something that you will find tons and tons and tons of resources for online. So if, if, you're, if you didn't see summation notation or you did but it was a long time ago and you forgot it or, or maybe you never quite understood it in the first place, um, quick Google search is going to take you to all sorts of, of details, right? Um, and of course, you can also check in with your course instructor for help. All right, so quick example. Um, we're going to do an approximation, right? We're going to approximate this integral, 0 to 4, 4x four minus x squared, using four intervals, and for now, left endpoints. We can talk a little bit about how this might change if we, if we did right endpoints or midpoints, right? Um, okay, so our four intervals, well, four equally spaced intervals, right? So we start at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So our intervals are 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, and 3 to 4, okay? And if we're doing left endpoints, our left endpoints are going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, right? We look on the left. If we're doing right endpoints, we go down the right, 1, two, three, four. Uh, if we did want to do midpoints, well then we're going to do the middle of each interval. So halfway between zero and one is a half, between one and two is three halves, between two and three, five halves, or 2.5 if you prefer, and then 3.5 or seven halves, okay? So whichever choice you make, you have to take those values, you have to plug them into your function, right? Okay, the other thing to notice is that your, your delta x for all of these, right, is 1. Each interval has a width of 1. Okay, so that means that this is going to be approximately, uh, if we're doing left endpoints, f of 0 times 1, f of 1 times 1, f of 2 times 1, f of 3 times 1, okay? Which is, well, what's f of 0? f of 0 is 0. f of 1, 4 minus 1 is 3. f of 2, 8 minus 4 is 4. f of 3, 12 minus 9 is 3 and we get an approximation of 10, okay? If you were to use right endpoints, you're gonna get the exact same result because then instead of having the f of zero there, you'd have an f of four. f of four is also zero, okay? So you get the same answer either way. Um, if you wanted to do midpoints, you gotta do a little bit more work on the calculations, right? If we're doing midpoints, so let's, let's do midpoints if we wanted to. Um, for midpoints, we're going to do, this. so our approximation is going to be f of a half plus, I'm not doing the times one, right? We know what happens when you multiply by one, nothing happens. Five halves, f of seven halves. 
So we gotta, we gotta compute each of those. Um, so f of a half is going to be two minus a quarter, two minus a quarter, so seven over four, f of three halves is going to be six minus nine over four, so that's 24 over four minus nine over four, 24 minus, so 15 over four, f of five halves is 10, right? Um, four times, five, yeah, okay, minus 25 over four, so that's 15 over four, f of seven halves is, well, there's some symmetry, it's gonna be seven over four, okay? Just based on the, on the symmetry, but you can calculate that for yourself if you want, right? Uh, 14 minus 49 over, over four, you work that out, you get, the, you get the answer, okay? So what we get is the approximation is going to be 7 quarters plus 15 quarters plus 15 quarters plus 7 quarters, okay? So 15 over 2 plus 7 over 2 gives us 22 over 2 gives us 11, all right? Um, and so then if you want, I mean, you can play around, you can try to decide, is, is 11 a better approximation for the actual area uh, than 10? Um, I think so. You could always ask a computer to tell you what the exact area is. Um, very soon we'll know how to compute the exact area. Um, and then we can come back and see which of these approximations was better.